Hello my fly babies, it's me, your fly lady cat, and I'm here today to give you peace in your life, control in your home, and to help you learn how to finally love yourself. Today is Friday, and it is um, a three-layer cake as always. Our first layer is our routines. We have five of them. Our second one is our zone. We're in zone one for the final day. That is the entryway. And the third one is our basic weekly plan. It is car and purse day and date night. So let's get to it. First, let's get up this morning and do our morning routine. There are different parts to our routine. The first thing is make your bed, wash your face, brush your teeth, um, put on some moisturizer, fix your hair, put your clothes on, put your pajamas away, wipe the sink out, swish the toilet, leave the bathroom pretty, go into the kitchen, empty the dishwasher or the dish rack, put the dishes away, make a little coffee and breakfast, and then you're looking good, you're feeling good, you got a little makeup on maybe, a little earring, a little perfume, your hair's fluffed up. Now go get the kids up. They'll think you're pretty and you'll feel good. <laughs> okay, the kids are going to make their bed, brush their teeth, wash their face, brush their hair, uh, put their towel back, make sure the sink is wiped out and there's no, to uh, no uh, toothpaste in the sink. They're going to put their pajamas away, get their clothes on, come to the kitchen table, enjoy some breakfast. That's a morning routine. Second thing we're gonna do, you're gonna to go to work if you're a payroll fly baby and enjoy your day. Um, if you're staying at home, you're gonna start your laundry and go through an inch of paper. Those are the second and third parts of your five parts of your routine. This first layer of the cake. Now, the second layer of the cake, we're gonna start at at home fly baby, so we're gonna go ahead and do it right after we do the laundry and the paper routine. You're gonna go right into zone one. This is the final day in it. Let's get it taken care of. It's your front porch, back porch, entryway, stairwell, dining room, whatever's close in that foyer area, front hall closet. Make it look good. You've got 10 to 15 minutes to do something in there worthwhile, either declutter, if you still have clutter, or clean one thing, or do one thing, okay? All right, after you've done your weekly, your uh, basic weekly plan, we're gonna go do, I mean our zone, we're gonna go do our basic weekly plan. Our basic weekly plan is car and purse. Let's go look at your car. Is there trash in it? Let's get it out. Do you need to shake the mats? Take them out, shake them, put them back in. I know, there's still junk all around and it still doesn't look great and things need to be wiped off, but it's better than it was, right? And the more you keep it clean, the cleaner you're going to keep it. The more you keep it decluttered, the easier it's going to be to clean it. To get a Clorox, Clorox wipe and wipe it down. To um, wipe, to get some Windex and clean the windows. Slowly but surely you'll be inspired to do that. Take it to the car wash, have it washed, do the little drive through thing and vacuum it out, whatever. And then when someone gets in your car because they broke down and they need a ride, you won't be totally mortified, but instead proud to have them in your car and make it smell good. Do something that, make it, that makes it smell good. I have um, from Bath and Body a little clip that I put on the visor and it has a little fragrance thing that goes in there and it smells good. In my car, I change those out every couple of months, month or so, depending on when I don't smell them anymore makes me happy and I do it seasonally because I like the way it smells. Right now I have flannel in my car. <laughs> but you don't have to do that. You can do lots of things. You can take um, a jar with some baking soda and some um, fragrance and put, it, put some holes in the lid and stick it under your seat. And that will make your car smell better. There's different things you can do. You don't have to do expensive things. You can do inexpensive things. But you want to do something to make your car smell good, look good, and be good. And then you're going to drive better even. Isn't that crazy? But it's true. All right. Next is your purse. Let's dump it out. Just dump it out. Dump it out. Now start organizing that dumped out stuff. All your, your wallet and all your receipts and your change and anything that's loose, you know, put that in a pile. And then all the trash goes over here. And then maybe you've got a little packet of Kleenex and maybe you've got some mints or some gum and your keys and now you know we have just so many things in our purse um, but organize it and then say what do I really really want in here and do I need to clean my wallet out how old are these receipts why am I keeping them I've already paid these bills I, I, I already took care of this let's throw it away or it's important that I save these receipts let me go file them or put them in my in basket to be filed on desk day just take care of things now. Don't let it pile up on you, okay? Now your purse is gonna look nice, yay. Or maybe you wanna change your purse. Maybe you're a person like me who carries a purse for three months and then says, 
let's change this for the season. Sometimes I get inspired and change every week, but generally I kind of hang on to the same purse for about three months <laughs> and then change. So it's about time for me to change to uh, a winter purse or two. Um, what else? Anyway, you're going to have a date night. So think about what you're doing. Have you thought about it already in advance? I hope you planned it, what you're going to do with your sweetheart. Okay, it's not going to involve the kids. I know you love the kids. I know he wants to be around the kids, but it's very important that you spend time as a couple. This is the basis of your marriage and your relationship that keeps the house centered and keeps you guys on the same page so that when your children come into the picture, they feel that, that strong foundation of a good marriage. Okay? All right. All right, so that's it for today. We've done those things. Now, if you're working, you're going to come home and do your zone, and you're going to do um, laundry and paper. You're going to get those things done as quickly as possible because we've got date night, right? And then um, you're going to inspect what you expect, do a quick clutter check, and then say goodbye to the kiddos, maybe leave them for supper with the... the um, with a pizza and, and a babysitter or whatever, or maybe you're going to feed them before you leave, or maybe your children are old enough to care for themselves. At least you have an older teenager, um, or even a younger teenager who can watch your children while you go out. Don't take advantage of your teenagers who are watching your family. Give them some way of saying, I appreciate you for doing this for us. It means a lot. So give them some money, or give them some recognition, or give them some reward. Don't expect them to do it. You don't want them to feel neglect, you know, neglected and resentful. So be respectful and make sure that you appreciate your child who is watching your other children. And plus, you want them to be nice to the other children, right? You don't want them to be a grumpy person. All right, so if your kids are little and maybe you can't go anywhere or afford to have anybody take care of them or your mother-in-law lives out of town or whatever, then after they go to bed, you're going to have your date in the living room. All right, that's it for today. Have a fabulous day, and I want you to always remember that you are beautiful.